Welcome to raigurukul.com. In this video, we'll dis discuss about how to add or create a user in Azure Center login, which is for a particular project or one project, or we can say that for the multiple project as well. So, if you are new to this channel and did not subscribe yet, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further updates. Let's understand today's agenda. We'll discuss here what is user and their roles, how to create a new user, how to update a specific user, how to edit user detail, and if it is required for the person or the user who left the organization, we want to disable it for a particular project, we can do that. So let's do that practically. For creating a specific user, we just have to log in inside our login credential of Rally or we can see that as a center, click on this tab. When you click on this tab, you're able to see users page available. So this page is basically how many users you have. Or if you want to create any other user, just click on new user, add with details and there is one more option available here. So if you want to create particular project wise, select that project and click on this tab where you are able to see manage user for the demo project. But if you are creating for only for the demo project, that user is allowed to access only demo project. So let's click from here, create a new. Once you click on create new, you are able to see this screen where you have to enter username. So username is definitely your organization email ID. So right now I'm using here as a this is user name and the name of the user is Deepak and last name I'm giving here as a Rai. Post that here we are going to use role. So let's understand what is user. So user is basically the person who is going to perform an action might be from the development side or testing side or from the project management side. So that person is called as user for particular to this project. We have several number of roles are available just like product owner, scrum master, architect, developer, tester, technical writer and user experience. So right now I am going to create with least permission available to this user. So this is a tester. I'm going to provide a least permission. Department, if the department is assigned or entered inside your project credential or uh, organization credential, definitely it will show up. Otherwise, it will not. Office location, same like here as well. If it is configured, definitely you can see that. If you want to add profile image for that person, you can add it or select and set that. Right now, I just want to display the name. So I want the name to be displayed here as a deeper only. Default workspace. So this is a very important part that needs to be created with serious mind or with taking care. So Workspace we are going to define for particular project. If you want to set for different project, you can select it from here. Otherwise, we are giving here as a demo project. Session timeout is basically once you logged in, if you are not performing any action, that session will be timed out. And when you are come back after four or five hours, you need to enter the login credential again. So. I am keeping as the default, but you can also keep it for the 10 minutes, 15, 30, 1 hour or 2 hour. Password expire is never, but it's totally depend on the organization to organization who wants to change it for 90 days, 160 or sorry, 180 or 365 days. Email notifications. So email notification, whenever you will perform any action or create any defect, and that defect will be updated by someone else or uh, did some action on that, definitely you will get a notification. So I'm keeping no here as of now. You can select your lang language. Right now we have two options only, English and Dutch. 
then we have default page model app. If you want to provide the permission as only view, so that person can only view inside the project. He will not able to add anything. Session timeout one yes definitely will be available if you have any administration failed like network id and cost center you can in include it otherwise skip it account information if you want to add the account information if you are willing to pay or you are paying for that person definitely you can add it which will help you in terms of billing i am not going to add anything because he is not a part of planning and investment admin for the person who is having a planner or investment admin, definitely this needs to be checked. If you want to provide the multiple permission of different different project, you can add it like a editor, viewer or something like that for the different different project. But right now I want to create this user as having permission of view for this project only. Just save and close that user will be created for you. You can see email ID here. That person definitely get an email notification. Your user is created and you can use it. Post that. Once you click on user, the new user is available for you where you can edit their data. Here, if you want to update the name, last name or a role or any department specific information, you can update it. And after updating, just click on save and close. The updated detail will be saved. Rest other, whatever field is able to edit it, you can edit it. Otherwise, skip that. If you want to disable this person, just click on disable and save and close. That person would be disabled permanently. There are several other options are available, just like deleting the sessions or deleting this user which is very much possible. If you want to show the detail of that person, you can view it from here. So that's all how we'll create the user inside your login credential or inside your administrator login credential. So that's all about creating the user up, then updating the user, editing and disabling permanently. So that's all about the Agile Center user creation Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this session, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.